Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just wanted to do a quick video to follow up all the um, mirror alignment stuff that uh, that I've done. So, um, I've got all the mirrors aligned and we went through and did all that. And so I wanted to kind of put it through its paces um, because before, I don't know if you can see it here, but this is, I tried to cut out, now, this is a little ambitious, this is quarter inch uh, cast acrylic, and I tried cutting this piece out before the these hearts, this is sort of a scrap piece that I used to test, um, and you'll notice that uh, I, I couldn't get through it, and I, I this is like 90%, I forget the number of passes, yada yada yada, and it was centered right in the sweet spot, so... What I did is I went and tried this again, and here is the result. So I uh, was able to cut out quarter inch acrylic. It took three passes at 90 uh, to do it. Cut it, cut it as nice as could be. Um, uh, quarter inch cast acrylic. I'll spit that out. So this is uh, pretty hard stuff, uh, actually. So. Um, it was actually, uh, it's intended for uh, protective machine enclosures and that, that's where I got it from. So it's it's pretty hard acrylic. And again, and I think it was 90.4% I used, six millimeters a second, uh, three passes, made this cut. So I am really, really pleased at how this has worked out. I've got the mirrors aligned. Um, this thing, you know, so I've raised the bed as I've shown in, in the past video. Uh, this thing is really cutting. I still can't get it to cut the uh, the uh, the eighth inch MDF. I, I think though it's actually masonite, so maybe I'm uh, hosing myself. But I went to this, like I say, uh, this acrylic. I couldn't cut it before. Uh, this is multiple attempts. I, I can't remember how many attempts that I, I went and you know I didn't even make it halfway through. Just basically more or less etching it, and then three passes. I got a clean cut at 90%. And you know, again, this is, I know, a lot more than this. Most people are cutting around uh, eighth inch, you know, half half this width. But, um, I mean, I'm just really impressed. So, anyways, I just wanted to show everybody it was well worth the effort. So, uh, again, the more you can dial it in, the better. Uh, one of the things I kind of want to use this is sort of a little bit of a test jig. You know, so I got a spot over here left in this material. When I get the new uh, lens in from Light Objects, I want to run another test and see um, how it works if I'm improved. I, I also, with this material, I don't think I'm at the optimal focal length either because I designed where this bed sets for eighth inch material. So this is probably an eighth inch out of focus. Um, but again, very happy. So uh, hopefully this series of videos has helped um, encourage you to align, align your mirrors, align your bed. Again, this um, raising this up has made a huge difference um, because when I align my mirrors, I mean, I've got a real tight, probably, you know, within a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half uh, area that the laser's hitting in throughout almost the whole bed movement, uh, which I'm really impressed. So, I mean, I can cut over here as well as up here, as well as up here. Um, because I've got such a tight grouping and you know so I'm making it into relatively the center of the aperture of this wherever I move this on the bed so again been very happy with it so uh, if this if this series has helped you out please a thumbs up it helps us make more videos like this subscribe to the channel a lot more coming folks cheers